Hello, thank you for watching Wasabi Aquarium channel. I will be talking about three major mistakes beginners make in planted aquariums for this video. There may be people who are considering starting a planted aquarium. This video content is to prevent wrong actions and thoughts beginners often make. If you are considering starting a planted aquarium and watch this video until the end, you will be taking the shortest route to succeeding in creating your planted aquarium. Please check it out. The content of this video was actually asked a thousand times at our shop. This number is not exaggerated, and actually we reduce this number. We usually receive this question around twice to three times a week, and in a month that amounts to 10 times, and a year total would be 120 times. It has been 10 years since we've opened our shop, and if we multiply that, the sum comes to be a thousand times. So this large number, a thousand questions, were actually all relating to these three points and mistakes. In this video, I will be talking about the three mistakes accordingly. As for the third three mistakes in this video, they are all wrong, so please think of it this way. The first mistake is that the difficulty changes depending on the type of aquatic plant. The second mistake is that beginners start with no carbon dioxide. The third mistake is that management of planted aquariums seem hard. These are all wrong. In order, I will be talking about why these are wrong. First, on the difficulty depending on the plant type. To be precise, there are some exceptions especially with some plants originally from South America, they tend to be sensitive towards the water quality and are difficult to handle. But please think of them as exceptional plants. They are not plants that you use in a big sum when creating a planted aquarium layout, and they are not common types, so I will be excluding these. This may be surprising, but there is no such concept of difficulty of plant types. When I was growing plants, there were plants that grew and didn't. You might think this. This is actually deeply related to the issues of equipment. So you have to prepare an environment and equipment such as lighting and carbon dioxide and external filters. If you have an equipment and environment that is sufficient enough, there will be no such thing as difficulty at all. All plants will basically grow beautifully. However, maintaining it for a long period of time involves topics such as water quality, so it will be excluded from this video since this is aimed towards beginners. For some period of time after you set the equipment, the plants will grow beautifully regardless of their type if you prepared equipment. So difficulty levels do not have any correlation to plant types. If you had plants that grew and didn't in the past, the issue was caused by things such as lighting, carbon dioxide, filters, substrate, and soil issues. So the equipment was the cause. Issues regarding plants that grew and didn't revolve around the issues of the equipment, so I think it is good for you to consider that there is no such diff concept as difficulty levels. Next, moving on to the second point. Beginners should start off with no CO2. This is completely wrong. Not just wrong, but very wrong. This is actually a correction of the sentence, but you should use CO2 because you are a beginner. This is correct. Carbon dioxide is definitely a must for a planted aquarium. Let's say that the difficulty level of growing a planted aquarium was 10. By having carbon dioxide, the 10 will be reduced to either a 1 or a 2. So, even for us professionals, growing plants beautifully without gas is very, very difficult, actually almost impossible. Hypothetically, if we change 80% of the water every day, it might be possible, but otherwise it is practically impossible. So, especially if you happen to be a beginner, it is important to prepare an environment where it is easier for the plants to grow. There may be viewers who quit plants in the past because of how difficult they were. 
This is related to the point I first explained. But this was probably due to the issues of equipment such as no CO2 injection and lighting. We've received some voices from customers of our shop who injected CO2 from the middle. Such as, I didn't think growing aquatic plants were this easy. I'm actually concerned because they grow so fast I have to trim them often. Carbon dioxide injections affect plants greatly. So, I think you will be able to enjoy this aquatic plant hobby if you inject carbon dioxide in the first place at the starting point. If the plants were not looking perky or dying or melting, or the colors were not pretty, or there were no air bubbles, you would quit planted aquariums before you got to know the true appeals and epitome. This makes us sad because our profession is about having people know about the attraction of aquatic plants. So, I think it is best to set the carbon dioxide equipment in the very beginning stage first when starting a planted aquarium. As for the CO2 equipment, I think there are many, some people who are concerned with the initial cost. For those people, there are many different types of CO2 injection equipment from many companies these days. Of course, the performance type and usefulness differs from the prices with every company. But at first, I think it is important to buy a carbon dioxide set that meets your budget and to know the enjoyment of aquatic plants. As for the CO2 equipment, I will pick up and introduce some down in the description box so you can see what types are available for what prices. And I think you might be curious about other necessary equipment. I have created videos on a set of necessary equipment for planted aquariums in the past, so I hope you will check this video out from the description box as well. Moving on to the third point. It is on how planted aquariums seem difficult to maintain. This is wrong as well. This might differ for people, so it might be a little wrong for some people and possibly very wrong for some people and not so wrong for some. This will be a little bit about individual differences. Many beginners or people considering starting a new planted aquarium often have the image from setting and breaking into the aquarium that it is high maintenance. This image is not so true. The beginning setting stage does require a lot of maintenance. Then on, in order, the maintenance and time required will be reduced gradually like so. I think it is easy to understand if you have this image. Of course, in the beginning, you will need to spend some time, but planted aquariums are things that will start to stabilize. At first, it is unstable, and as time passes, gradually the water quality will stabilize and it will get easier and easier. The plant's thickness will get better and the plants will get rid of the dirt. Therefore, the algae will be less likely to grow and the growth speed of plants will slow down as well, making the treatment frequency slow down as well. It will definitely get easier. How easier it gets is a bit difficult to explain, but I will give you an elaborate example. Changing the water and cleaning the inside of the glasses once a week would be about it. Of course, in the setting stage, you will need to change the water once in two or three days. And the possibility of cleaning the glass when the moss grows every once in a few days or twice to three times a week is not zero. However, everything will start to fall in place, eventually only requiring maintenance once a week. So, how much time is needed? This is a question we receive often. For instance, a 60 centimeter planted aquarium will only require around 15 to 20 minutes. There is definitely enough time for you to quickly wipe off the glass and throw the water out and add water, and your maintenance skill will get better as well. When you start off, you might need some time or might not be so efficient, but as you get better, as a result, you will on only be needing 15 or 20 minutes within 30 mi minutes at the longest. Is taking 30 minutes once a week so hard? Well, this is hard to say since you might be normally extremely busy. But aren't there times when you were watching TV or browsing the internet on your smartphone when 30 minutes just flies by? 
If you spend that time maintaining the planted aquarium, there will be more than enough time to maintain and preserve. So, what I wanted to say was that the image that planted aquariums are extremely hard to maintain is not so true and that it is not too difficult. Like so, there are many beginners who have the wrong idea for the three mistakes. I think once you start, you will be able to understand that it is not that much. For those who are considering starting a planted aquarium, I hope you take a step forward. It is a truly enjoyable hobby where you can put great nature in your home and enjoy the green and fish without having to go outside. This indoor adventure, should I say, is a fun hobby, so I hope you take a step forward. In this video, I condensed the 1,000 questions we've received on beginner mistakes into three points. There are other questions for beginners from customers who visited in the past. So, I hope to create more videos in the future so you can all prevent mistakes and fail and succeed in your planted aquariums in the shortest amount of time. If you are considering starting a planted aquarium and have any questions or requests, please write them down in the comment sections down below. For the individual comments I receive, I won't be able to respond to them, but when we start to receive similar questions, I will create a video aimed for beginners. So, if this video was helpful, I will be greatly happy if you subscribe to our Wasabi Aquarium channel. We will keep on making videos that will help enrich in your aquarium life, so it will make us happy if you continue watching. This is it for this video. Thank you for watching.